these roots appear to have been, and this is the way they're falling, have been growing towards the trunk. Okay? The roots, I, I think this tree was planted and moved in a nursery deep before uh, it was actually, brought here. It was, it, you're absolutely right, it was moved. And uh, from one part, one from Because one. I don't believe that we would have had this type of starting to form woody root. Uh -huh. See, the difference between a non woody root and a woody root is the amount of lignin. Lignin is the cementing substance, well, that's bark, mm -hmm. but lignin is the cementing substance that makes wood wood. And a non woody root facilitates the absorption of water mm -hmm. and elements and some transfer of exudates, which are mm -hmm. uh, the tree's way of paying taxes, feeding some of the living soil. And a woody root, they, they, they store a lot of energy, they have a lot of living cells, they're for support along the tree to stand, keep it standing. Uh, they manufacture vitamins in some way, I don't understand, in the woody roots, and uh, transport water from the non-woody roots with elements dissolved in it, like calcium or magnesium, uh, towards the uh, leaves or the stem. Okay, so we're not finding it. Well, is there so a way of... The tree is too deep. Uh, my my recommendation is to start with a healthy tree and plant it correctly. And, and sadly enough, too often, that's my recommendation. When I get to a tree that's been planted like this in a site for five, maybe, who knows, five, maybe 10 years, and the, the problems of these non-woody roots here have become woody roots and are girdling the tree, uh, there's no fix. But to start, you know, to tell the people to start with a healthy tree. But well, do, do you have any type of warranty on this tree? Uh, I, uh, I couldn't get another tree. But I guess uh, I'm going to first do whatever I can to... Uh, save it before I give up and just go for another tree. Well, this tree. So you want to find woody roots. It's supposed the woody roots should be at the. Uh, see this here? You see this? Can you see this? Mm -hmm. See where I scraped that root? See those roots? Uh -huh. See where they're growing around? The, the tree, what you have here is the tree would have a trunk flare down here. This tree is planted, guesstimated, like here. And these roots are coming up, and they're coming up, and as you can see, they're growing towards the trunk, not away from the trunk. And they're circling around. The solution is to plant the tree at this depth where the woody roots are coming off the trunk at the trunk flares. Just before the root collars, which is the transition zone between woody stem and woody root. Now, the tree's already showing signs. I believe we will know later that the 17.7 .7 for a cambium electrical resistance for this tree mm -hmm. is extremely high. Okay. That's just a guesstimate, but let's see. Let me, I don't have, you know, 20 other trees to compare it to, which would be All right. uh, the minimum required. Uh, I can go check some of these trees because I know these, this species of tree is planted quite often in the borough of Westchester and uh, they seem to be doing very well. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, look at this one. Woo! We're going to get some photographs here. We're going to get some photographs here. We'll get some photographs. Uh, we're gonna go to some photographs for a while. But what we're finding here is that the tree was probably planted about up here where the proper planting depth would have been down here. Uh, the roots are tending to grow upward in the soil and growing back in towards the roots as well as growing around in circles. The deeper I dig, the bigger I find, now I'm getting into woody roots that are circling the trunk of the tree. Worst case scenario.